It is one of the best days of the year in Boston. We're talking about the 4th of July celebration on the Esplanade and preparations are underway right now to make sure that everything goes smoothly. WBZ's Mike Sullivan is live for us in Boston tonight with a look at how they're preparing on the stage, Mike, and off the stage as well. Absolutely. If you're experiencing the 4th of July in Boston, this is the place to be at the Hatch Shell on the Esplanade. They've been doing sound prep for the last hour, getting ready for the pops. And earlier today, they gave us a little sneak peek at what's in store. You've heard the sounds, you've seen the sights. It's been exactly five decades of this. The Boston Pops on the Esplanade for the 4th of July, the city's summer rite of passage. Pops conductor Keith Lockhart has done it for 29 years. He finds his harmony within the harmony. The 4th of July is an important holiday because it reminds us of our commonalities. And in a day, in a time when we seem to be fractured on pretty much every point. This show will feature the likes of artists like Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Darlene Love, famous for her holiday hit, Christmas, Baby Please Come Home, only there won't be Christmas in July. And there is a, a show that they do Christmas in July in, in Los Angeles, and it was weird because it was like 110 degrees. Joining the Pops will be Kelly O'Hara, a Tony Award winner performing her first concert at the Hatch Shell. We started a patriotic song this morning and it started to bring tears to my eyes for the hope that I have. For the first time the fireworks will be renamed the Mugar Family Fireworks Show in honor of David Mugar one of the founders of the show itself. Mugar famously said, you bring the music, I'll bring the fireworks. If you are heading down there, you can also expect a large police presence of in uniform and undercover officers. So far, the FBI says there have been no credible threats to the show. Please do not bring any weapons, alcohol, backpacks, coolers on wheels, cans or glass containers to the Esplanade. Just bring yourselves. And of course, a little melody. Well, the fireworks here will start at 1030. There'll also be a rehearsal for the pops tomorrow, but that is not open to the public. Live on the Esplanade, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. All right, Mike, thank you so much.